last day of the five day self love challenge. How was it for you? How has it been for you? So today, one of the things that happened to me was actually I was reading this book called Exist Existential Kink. And one part of it was talking about pain. How do we transmute our own pain to bring it back out into um, the world in a healing format? And because one of the things that they talk about is to embrace the shadow, embrace the things that we don't like, embrace the, um, the, the suffering, uh, embracing the difficult things in life. And so for people who have maybe either physical pain or either emotional pain, like maybe we have a tendency to like criticize ourselves, like maybe even just now, like looking at myself, I have white hair and then my inner critic comes on and say, oh, look at you, you're getting old and all these stuff is that inner pain that we have and we breathe all of that in and to also imagine ourselves connecting with the external world because there are also people who are experiencing all these pain um, within their life right now. Someone probably out there is looking at their white hair saying that, oh, they look so old. Or, or for example, my husband right now is having a pain, painful foot and um, just imagining other people also have that painful foot. And so breathing all of that in, allowing us to feel all of those pain and then for the in-breath and then when we breathe out, it's the healing breath, letting other people know that they are in the healing process and in the, at the same time, we're on the healing journey. And this is part of this meditation called the um, Tonglen Meditation. And when I was just reading that part of the book to my husband to share it with him, I could feel that within myself. It's like knowing that if I can breathe that in to embrace this pain and this suffering, and then when I breathe out, I'm also healing myself. I'm also healing the people around me. That made me kind of choked up. And I really wanted to practice this um, is because there are a lot of things that I personally know that I don't like to experience. And yet it is through the process of embracing these um, ugly emotions that I finally get to love myself, give myself more compassion so that I can move on to the next thing, showing up online on on video with you sharing um sharing my upcoming workshop with you talking to other people so that i can help them um in any way or form so that i'm helping me and i'm helping them so throughout these five days um self-love challenge for me to end on this day with learning this new technique and feeling the love while I haven't even started doing the work, but just reading about it made me feel loved. Then and it's also like for people who had already read the book and if they were doing this work and they were sending me love, that feels to me is so beautiful. So I was very grateful for this journey. I hope that you have gotten what you needed out of it. And I want you to know that you are loved by the universe, by the people around you. It may not be the people that is immediate circle to you. And yet maybe they are giving you love in ways where you might not have been able to notice that yet. So allow yourself to go through this journey. Um, if you would like to go on, go on this challenge again, please do so. And if you actually are watching this video at a later time and you're going on this journey, if anything comes up for you, I would love for you to share it with me so that I know you're on this journey and I'm cheering you on because I'm going to be starting to practice this meditation where 
I'm going to be sending you love, letting you know that you are worthy, you are whole and complete, and nothing is wrong with you. And this is all part of the journey that we're on. So that's all I have for to, uh, to say, and I will see you next time.